Hello valued viewers, I hope you're doing very well and I hope you're ready for a massive, really exciting battle. We are back in the Taiwanese China theatre. The question you guys asked, how critical is United States air power to protecting Taiwan from Chinese attack? So I had to think how I'm going to present this to you. I had two choices. One, I do a massive full scale warfare simulation with all the services, ground, sea, and air or i do a much more stripped down focused approach i've gone for the focused approach for all sorts of reasons it's going to give me probably the same result and it's much more achievable we are focusing on select cuts of frontline fighters of each coalition air to air no air to ground also no navies today or very limited navies also, no ground apart from frontline surface-to-air missile sites. So today, it's air-to-air -air fighters and frontline missile sites. That said, it is extremely complicated still. We've got lots of talking to do before we go boom boom. We are going to run two simulations. One, 40 frontline Chinese fighters versus 40 frontline Taiwanese fighters. Then we're going to run the whole thing again, but instead of using the Taiwanese fighters, we're going to replace them with US fighters and see how they fare. That should give us an answer of how much more effective against frontline Chinese fighters the Americans are than the Taiwanese. And that is my best way I can try and answer your question. So we're going to first look at the technical details. The missiles involved today and the aircraft involved today and how they're all set up. Then we're going to look at the scenario, how we've got this big scenario set up, who's flying from where and what they're doing. Then we're going to do the first of the two fights. So why don't we start with Taiwan's current air force. Their main fighter is the F-16V. I think it's either Block 70 or 72. They've also got this indigenous fighter here, which is inferior to the F-16V. They've also got some old Tigers and some old Mirage Dash 5s. Also, E-2 Hawkeye AWACS. Next, the missiles involved today. China will be mainly fielding their Beyond Visual Range air-to-air -air missile PL-15 range about 120 nautical miles. Because we're assuming this is slightly in the future, America will not be having AIM-120D, they will be having AIM-260, range about 130 nautical miles. Taiwan, unfortunately, don't use 2020s missiles. They use AIM-120C still, which is actually off this chart because they're 20 years old, which are going to be roughly equivalent to probably IWER or slightly less in the range. Next, the aircraft involved in today's simulation. Let's have a look at the technical specifications. They were Block 72s. Thank you, Simba. So that's the most modern F-16 variant with the A and APG-83 radar. We'll go through it in a second. The Chinese fighters involved are at the top. J-20, J-15B representing J-16. It's going to be pretty much identical for air-to-air. -air, and a J-10C with the funky paint scheme. The Americans today are F-35C Lightning II and F-A-18EF Hybrid Super Hornet and Taiwanese are mainly using today the F-16 Block 72. It's very important you understand how we've set these up for this to mean anything, otherwise it's just polygons shooting polygons. J-20 today has our GR Universal AESA radar. Its radar cross-section, the most important thing today, is 0 0.05 meters squared. This means it can be seen by a fighter-sized AESA radar at 22 plus or minus 5, for atmospheric conditions, nautical miles. Its main weapon today is going to be the PL-15. J-15, a radar, radar cross-section 5 meters squared. It can be seen at over 100 miles by AWACS and some AES radar, and it uses the PL-15. The J-10C uses our AES radar, radar cross-section 3.5 meters squared. It can be seen at about 100 miles, and it uses the PL-15. The F-35C has our AESA radar in it. It has a critical radar cross-section of 0 0.005 meters squared, meaning it can be seen today at 15 plus or minus 5 nautical miles, so 10 to 20 nautical miles depending on atmospheric conditions. Today it's using the slightly futuristic AIM-260 JTAM. Superbug. 
AESA radar. In real life, about 60% of these now have AESA radar, and the rest will be changed in about five years' time. Radar cross section, about 1.5 meters squared, maybe slightly larger. It can be seen at about 80 miles plus or minus 10 nautical miles. Uses the AIM 260. Finally, Taiwan's F 16C. As Simba tells me, it's Block 72, the most modern F 16 we can get. And we are using a hybrid for it today with a GRA so radar, radar cross section of 3 meters squared. It can be seen at about 100 miles. And today, very critically, it's using AIM 120C. Taiwan is not yet fielding 2020s missiles. They have 20 or 15 year old missiles. I believe the most modern they use is AIM 120C7 with a range about half of everything else on this field here. So that's something to think about. Next, let's go into the scenario further. First, the map. I don't have the Taiwan-China coast here, so I've had to use another part of the world, and hence I've rotated it. This arrow is the north arrow. This here is Taiwan, just about to scale, and this is the coast of China today. Note the distances are all accurate as per real life. 110 miles, 85 miles, 225 miles, and 250 miles shows from roughly where the starting coalitions start. China are doing an all-out air superiority attack on the Strait of Taiwan. They're taking off from bases 1, 2 and 3. Their primary base consists of 12 J20s. All AI today is ace skill level as it always will be in our simulations and the orders are critical. They're all going to fire at the maximum ballistic range and they all have their orders of once they have fired their main missiles, their beyond visual range missiles, they will RTB. We do have the ability to have them come home, RTB, refuel, rearm and go back up but that is not today. Today is not a full tactical simulation, it's a proof of concept simulation. So today, no rearming. The J-20s are all equipped with four PL-15 long-range missiles and two PL-10 close-range missiles. 16 J-10Cs, six PL-15 plus two PL-10. And finally, 12 J-15s representing J-16s. Again, air superiority, eight PL-15s and four PL-15. PL10s. As well as that, we've got humans. We haven't divvied up the teams yet, but humans will have the option of having a J20 or a J15. And you may respawn, guys. As well as that, we have frontline SAMs modeled. HQ9 sites there, there, and there, with a range of about 80 miles. In real life, I think China is actually fielding the more modern HQ-15 site. The only problem with HQ-15 is it has a range of about 150 miles. Now, if I were to measure 150 miles, that means it can shoot all the way to the back of Taiwan. Um, so I don't really know what to do with that, but it sounds a bad idea because planes will get shot as soon as they take off. So I've gone for HQ-9 to keep it balanced. That is the Chinese attack. We will run the defense first as the Taiwanese, so ignore the Americans first of all. The Taiwanese will have two AWACSs up here, and I forgot to say the Chinese will also have two AWACS. The Taiwanese also get three air bases. Air Base 1 will have, oh, one thing I forgot to say, there are 40 Chinese fighters, a total of 40 plus humans. There will be a total of 40 Taiwanese plus humans. There will be a total of 40 Americans. Plus humans. So I've kept the amount of aircraft the same. Again, we're looking for more of a scientific test here than a total tactical simulation. So a bunch of Block 72s are as close as I can get to them at the moment. So we're using our GR Block 50 for this. It's not quite the right airframe, but we can make it similar enough. We've got the AESA radar in it. It's carrying AIM 120Cs, 5, not C7s, but again, it's within 10 miles range. C7 is about 10 miles further, close enough for today. Fuel, the real Block 72, I think, has conformal fuel tanks. So we've modified the fuel to about 13, 14,000 pounds, as you can see here. So it's going to roughly simulate the amount of fuel of a Block 72. There are a total of 36 of those split over this airbase and this airbase here. And to fill the stopgap, why not put something different in? A wildcard F5, if I can find them, because they are technically still running F5s. And they've got some F5s in there. For some reason, they won't do much damage. Plus, humans. Humans to get this base here, they have an option of taking the block 72 or analog of the block 72 today, or they can take the core game block 50 if they want more realism. Obviously, uh, core game aircraft are more realistic than the GR aircraft that we make. They'll perform uh, not quite as well because that has AESA radar in, that has core game mechanical radar, but to be honest, I think you're going to get slaughtered anyway, and I don't think it's going to matter very much. Taiwan gets SAMs, they are running uh, American Pack 
two GEM, I think, at the moment. I'm pretty sure I've got that right. And you can see a SAMS like there, there, there. And you can see the reach there of 80 miles there. And they cross with the HQ-9s in the middle of the strait. And that is the Taiwanese faction. So the first thing we'll run is 40 Chinese frontline fighters, 40 frontline Taiwanese fighters. And finally, we'll go and run it again then with China versus 40 American fighters taking off the 7th Fleet. I've not modelled the 7th Fleet properly here. It's not a tactical simulation. It's just some ships to get these planes airborne. So please don't say, oh, you've got the wrong ships. Yes, I get it. I've got the wrong ships. So taking off what would be Ronald Reagan, we've got 20 Superbugs in murder spec with 10 aim 260s We think it should, in theory, be able to carry 10 and a couple of um, Sidewinders as well. They've also got 20 F-35Cs on what would be a USS America. I'm aware this is not USS America. There is actually a proper USS America mod out there. I've actually got it, but I just don't have the freaking time to get it all set up and working properly. There are 20 F-35Cs here with all the same orders. As usual, they will be carrying stealth configuration. Very important. Six A-126s can be used with the sidekick. Bombay mod and there will be no pylons and they will be in full stealth configuration. I've made that choice to make them stealth rather than murder spec. I think that's going to be most useful for them. I hope I'm right. And humans. Humans start 15 miles behind the carrier and you've got either the super bog in a murder configuration or the stealth in stealth configuration. <gasps> First, I need my predictions. The Chinese 40 planes and SAMs plus humans, as I've specified, versus Taiwan's F-16s and F-5s and their SAMs. Who is going to win? I, by the way, I've not run this through. I haven't actually had time. I've debugged it, but I've not run it through. So I'm going to be as surprised as you are, which is good. Does anyone think that Taiwan can beat the Chinese Air Force? Negative. Range is king. They've got... AIM-120Cs that are going to fire 40, maybe 50 miles if they're lucky, versus PL-15 that is going to shoot them from over 100 miles away. Range is king, especially when there's nowhere to hide, and there is nowhere to hide on this bit of sea, guys. Now, Americans, 40 of their planes, including stealth, versus the Chinese. Who's going to win now? America. Stealth. Yeah, the Americans. Stealth will do it. Yep. They, can't launch their 100, they can't launch their 120 mile missiles if they can't see the target. That's exactly right. And just to quickly reiterate how the stealth is working today, and we're pretty sure this is pretty realistic as well. F-35 with that radar cross section can be seen about 15 miles. J-20 with its semi-stealth could be seen at 22 miles, probably over 22 miles today. So that's not, I mean, it's not a big difference, but if you could have those miles, I would freaking take them. And I think it will make a difference. All right, China versus Taiwan. Wait, hold the phone. I've made a mistake. A bird just reminded me that the 7th Fleet don't have F-35Cs. They have actually F-35Bs. Why does that make a difference? Um, the airframe itself isn't going to make a huge difference. But what is going to make a difference is the payload. The B can't have six missiles. They only have four missiles. So I've gone through and I've changed all of the F-35Cs to four missiles to represent F-35Bs. And welcome to the first battle. Chinese today are George, Cannibal Bird, Taiwanese, APOC, Ricky Bobby, Grump, Matrix. Uh, Simba's not playing today, he's just GCIing. Simba, please unpause server and let's create a black hole together. Today everyone's starting from bases. We don't usually operate from bases because it causes a lot of problems, but I'm going to operate from bases. J-20 is China's first attempt at a stealth fighter. It's okay. It's not as good as an American stealth fighter because it's just not as good as an American stealth fighter. It's somewhere between, I would say, it's somewhere between stealth and low observability. Now, is that useful still in combat? Absolutely. Absolutely. I would much rather have J-20 than Anything else fourth gen, to be honest, because hiding is really, really useful, but it's not super stealthy. Uh, J-10s, Cs, they're actually J-10As, and we modified them by giving them a slightly bigger engine, a, uh, A's to radar, and the ability to carry eight missiles. Oh, my humans are already up, right? Uh, my humans in the J-15, got two in J-15, which is this aircraft here. It's a flanker derivative. Uh, we've got J-20, it's George. Good luck in the J-20. We've got our other J-15s. Everything's happening so quick. Well, let's check out my humans over here. Humans are already airborne. We've got Matrix um, in A. Is that a core game, F-16? I can't tell the difference anymore. Jesus, that runway's small. It is. Sorry, guys. I didn't even think about the runway. Uh, some of you may crash. Cannonball in a GR uh, slash VSN uh, F-16. You can see the difference in the graphics. Core game is much sexier graphics. Much more accurate flight model. Uh, in every way, more accurate radar. Jesus Christ. Christ. Uh, whereas R1 slash VSN ones just, you know, it does the job in war games. You don't need, in war games, you don't need super accurate flight models. It'll make basically zip zero difference to the um, final outcome. And we've got these two boys in VSN ones. Right, so let's go and have a look what else we've got. We've got, I want to see the Tigers. 1960s Tiger 2, awesome plane. 
Does it have? Would it have any effect in a modern battle? No. It will act as a very nice target, and that's about it. F-16Vs today, played by our Block 50s with slightly spunked up radar. I've got this base down here as well, obviously pretending to be um, Taiwanese bases. It'll do for today. At some point, Valley Viewers, I'd like to run a full, full, full fidelity simulation, air, sea, and land here. It takes weeks, weeks to set a match like up, that up, though, so it takes lots of balancing and lots of debugging. Sams are going to be accurate today, so let's going to have a look at Patriot Battery. Pack 2 Patriot Battery, range 70 or 80 miles. It does a thing. AWACS today, B2Ds for Taiwan, which they do actually have. Or two Cs, near enough. Uh, the KJ-2000 from China, which looks... Oh! Huh. It's not what I thought it was. I gave them the wrong AWACS. Oh, well. Hopefully it still works, question mark. Uh, let's see who's in the lead. Vanguard is Matrix, as usual, in Core Game F-16. Finally, we're using a Core Game aircraft in one of our big simulations. Is it going to do well? No, it's going to do absolutely terrible. Old mechanical radar. 1990s mechanical radar versus modern... Uh, simulated Acer radars and 2020s missiles. That thing is not much better than a paperweight at the moment. Uh, which is why, unfortunately, we just can't get many core game planes into our simulations. They're just not up there in terms of tech. Matrix speed vides. You have two by J20s at a heading of 119 for 152. They're pretty decent. They cost $150 million. They cost more, more than F-35. And they're not as good in any way. But they're all right. It, it's slightly worrying. It shows that China's... I don't know if it's catching up, but it's, you know, it's it's getting there. Ick fit 9 f 5 How do I turn the screens on in the J20? Uh, Lima will turn them on, and you got to wait a few, a couple of minutes to warm up. Just press Lima once. And the J15s are appearing in the northern part of the AOR. Yep, if I was an F16, I would go the northern way. I would stay away from those stealths. Ricky Bobby means as an absolutely no fear. Look at Ricky Bobby, core game F16, charging in. God, that's, look how good the core game model looks, viewers. I wish all of our, our mods were this good. Good programming right there. Something's happened. Bird fired over, over blue peel 15. I'm just gonna say it, it, it doesn't matter. There's so many, there's so many diamonds here. It doesn't matter, right? You say missiles. 900,000 pounds of missile in the air right now. Woof. Let's see what range it was shot at. Oh, well over 100 miles. Well done, bird. Using that missile. And that's what the peel 15 is all about. It's about pretty much literally this shooting over the Strait of Taiwan before you even get feet wet. Yeah, they would rip all their missiles off. They would turn around, let them guard a data link. Go back, get another four missiles, come up, do it all again. Or eight missiles. Is that useful in scenario? Absolutely. Because it means you're going to rain down missiles on Taiwan before you've even exposed yourself to Taiwanese or American SAMs or Air Force. It's worrying stuff. And America is worried about PL-15. Is PL-15 as good as, as it says in Wikipedia and other web pages? Probably not. I get the feeling China overblows the statistics a lot of like China. Sorry, like Russia. But I've always thought... Assume the worst case scenario rather than the best case scenario. All these lovely, beautiful F-16s, are they going to be any use today? I don't think so. You're talking about 2000s technology against 2020s technology is the problem here with Taiwan. The F-16 Block 72 has got a lovely radar. That radar can see baddies 80 plus miles and APG-83, but you've got no missiles to fire 80 miles. Okay, cool game. Uh, J-20s are now firing. Uh, PL-15s out over the straight, over 100 miles. And this is exactly what I'm worried about today. Smashing his F-16s before they've even got within the range of their missiles. Six PL-15s out, no response from Taiwan. What are they going to do? Wow, really? Cannibal's got a shot. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I can't see him. He's Chinese. Oh, you're Chinese? Yep. Right. I was He's still feet, right? Wow, geez. Look at that shot from Cannonball. Over a, well over 100 nautical miles, 120 statute miles. And these will just loft. In real life, they're loft about eight. Uh, oh, they're actually quite high. They're probably about 100,000 feet they've loft. Do you see how it's changed its target there? Oh, it's done something. I don't know what it's done. Yes, it's literally changed its target on the data link. It must have this picked. This is an expensive war already. Nine million and 10 million bucks of Chinese wares fired. Are Chinese wares expensive? Not, mm, actually, they're about comparable with America. First Chinese missiles coming in, it was fired by one of my boys, but I've forgotten who. And it is just gliding oh. down. And it's going to smack that guy right in the face. Or, it's, I get the feeling it's lost track, but we'll see. I have a feeling it's lost track, too. A lot of these big missiles simply will lose track. Planes will move around or notch. They'll avoid the AWACS. They'll avoid the AWACS. That's it. It's a dead missile. Unless it reacquires. Oh, I don't know, but it's doing a thing. We got Sam's out. Patriots out. How about that? Wow. It's seen bird. 
I think I've got in the way, but it's a uh, I'm defensive. Yeah, it's a non-stealth plane. Right, I've got to start looking at missiles coming in now. Not a single missile out from Taiwan. Now that's worrying for Taiwan. And lots of missiles are coming towards them. A lot of these missiles will fail, but not all of them. Some of them will hit. PK of long-range missiles. It just isn't that good. Why? Well, just like in real life, it's hard because the fighter in the time it takes to hit the fighter being shot at can do a lot of things. It can do make a lot of moves. It makes it very hard. Long-range missile. To Front fronts are at 15 miles. It's hard to know what to look at, viewers. F-15 oh, down. First yeah. Second one's about to go down. Ah, oh, bang. Oh, three F-15s. Oh, words. Too many words, I'm afraid, viewers. I'm just trying to get an overview, because that's the most useful thing for you to see today. Apocalypse, you have a J-20 heading one, two, three, with 34 miles at Angels 29. This guy, look at this guy. Three million dollar F-5 just went down. Lots of jamming. Yep, yep, that's yeah, gonna be jamming, lots of jamming today, that's a thing. I can't stop the air I'm doing it, well you can actually, but I'm not going to. Another three million dollar F-5. Not a single missile out from Taiwan yet. They just, look, and, and already, No Man's Land is, they've turned around. These guys have fired the missiles, they've turned around, they've gone home. And they'll never even get shot at. That's the worrying thing, unless enough get through, which you never know. Numbers, saturation has a quality of its own, as we've found out. Certainly in game, and I reckon maybe in real life as well. Aegis can only do so much good. Ricky Bobby, you have a J20 at heading 110 for 29 miles. Or Dogs Fox 3. Right. About half the missiles were avoided, evaded, whatever. Oh, an A120C got out! Someone got through, the saturation worked. It's very confused. Oh, I missed. Ah, oh, damn it. No, he missed! Come on! Ah, oh, tried so hard. That's a J20 down. It did, worked. Well done. It was a bit buggy, but it worked. That's a J20 down. That's 150 million dollars. J20's, J20's fault. He had all the information he needed. He knew that guy was there, and he went into it. That's AI. To be honest, humans do it as well. So, a lot of PL50s missing. There's so many in the air. 70 missiles have been fired. Like I said, value views. I'm not running this through yet. I've debugged it, but I've not actually run this through. So, I'm going to see, as you see, how effective this is. Aim 120C out. They're firing again. Good evasion. Grump, your nearest threat is one two one for a hundred and or sorry one two Ooh. heading one two one for fifty miles. The angels forty three. Grump copy. Got, got, got target locked fifty three miles. Jesus, look at parole matrix getting hunted by that. They forced to merge. There were enough of them to confuse and dodge enough PL 15s that they forced to merge. Well done, Taiwan. Is it gonna be enough? Hell's no. Ooh, I don't know. I think they're about to lose, uh... Yep, watching. It's a J-15 going down. These are cool game missiles. They're a little bit better than ours, to be honest. Yeah, at short range. In fact, they're a lot better than ours at short range. They'll track a lot better. We just can't make our missiles track that good, unfortunately. But what we've got is the range. We've got the range. Oh, he's got, he's got an ATM. It's going to smack a J-15. Heading 111 for 16 miles. Angels 7. Correction, heading 100. Angel 7. Hey, Fox 3. Man, it's hard to know what's going on here. That's PL-10. PL-10's going to hit the F-16. Hit him, but he didn't go down. Only a 20-pound warhead in that PL-10. Is it guiding? Is it guiding? Go on, get that J-15! Yeah! Well done! One J-50 down, two J-20s down. To 13 F-16, two F-5, and another F-16. Hey, Park, heading 127. For seven. Disregard. Human on human ACM. Didn't think I'd see that today. Well done, APOC. You forced you forced the fight. F10 is set to uh data link so they can see whatever their data link sees. They can't see everything like me. Look what APOC's managed to do in his little uh non-core game F16. But has he got the fuel? This is not really an air superiority. Good down with fighter. Not really air superiority, I wouldn't 4, say. Four thousand six hundred pounds, Cap. Huh. What that man said. I wonder if the AWACS are causing problems because I gave him this old A50 AWACS by accident. I wonder if it's causing problems with these missiles. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. There's no real way of knowing. But, I mean, Taiwan are doing 10 times better than I thought they would. I thought they'd all be dead by now. It just shows the, how saturation can be useful. And look how good these old core game missiles are. They only go 40 miles, but they track so beautifully. They never lose their track look. Oh, look at that. APOC, merge. J10 A. Where's APOC? Where's APOC? Oh, good I shot. hit a bird. Oh, good good kill. Kill. You killed bird. How about that? We've got a merge at the front here. 
They don't know it. Is it normal for planes to merge and not know it? Absolutely. It's really hard in terms of laid elevation. It's going to get shot by an A13C. APOC would realistically be at bingo at this point, 3,000 pounds of fuel. So you would be going home, but you... APOC, you have a aggressor hot on your 7 o'clock at Angel 60. I recommend Xville North. APOC copies, Xfilling North. Evasion. Right, so Roach, you have a target at 137 at Angel 60. 26 miles. Oh my god, an F5 is going to get killed with an old 1960s Sidewinder! I never thought I would see the day! Oh, he dodged it! Oh, F5! Trump, you're the angel on my shoulders, buddy. This guy's a friggin' nutter, look, he's got no fear! What's he doing? He's just, and he's, he's disobeying orders, I've told him when he's out of missiles, he's got to go home. Out of long range missiles, he's disobeyed orders! We've got a Maverick on our side! I say our side, I'm not Chinese, but you know what I mean. I'm on both sides. And he's finally going to bite the bullet. Well, that's what happens to Mavericks, I'm afraid. God, Taiwan's doing well. So, so well. Look at a barrage of PL 15s coming in. Ah, oh, man. Woo. J-10s are dropping like flies. Right? Friggin' unbelievable. Why is this happening, viewers? It's because the, um, the Chinese have got closer than they need to. They should have got to China, fired their missiles, gone home. Come back, done it again. But they're so spunked up. They want to get in dogfights, and I can't stop them. And that gets him in A10, that gives him A120C range, which is a damn good fine missile. It's a great missile. Just doesn't have the legs of the 100 mile missiles. A couple more F16s. Hey, Park, your nearest aggressor is heading 125 at Angel's 27. 123 miles. Look, these guys are doing it right. They're coming here, firing, turning around, going home. Look, they're doing it properly. That's how a modern 2020s fighter should fight. Go on, George. Go on, George. What well, George has found? George found an F-16. Does he know how to use it's, his weapons? Uh, heading 121, Angels 19, 13 miles. Angels 18, and descending. Park defensive. Ooh. Continue huh. that turn. APOC view, get to heading 205. He's climbing to 20 and running away. APOC, 229, Angels 50. You have a J20. Uh oh. 59. Uh oh. Things about to happen. Unlucky grub. Hmm. I okay. swear, Matrix has been chased by that PL15 all match. I got no warning on that. Yeah, it's. Getting a little bit steppy and buggy. Apox, merge. He's 40,000 feet above you. How is Apox alive? He's literally strutting around in China, in the Chinese Samnet. Why are you alive? Apox, 057 for two. 057. Amazing knock. Well done, F-16. God, that thing can maneuver. Actually, Apox. About friggin' time, Apox. Apox, three for death. You had no friggin' right to be alive for so long. I got one off just as I died. Hopefully it hits. Right, let's have a look at the scoreboard. Oh, the last Taiwanese. Yes! Martyrdom kill. Well done. Friggin' APOC, man of the match today. Absolutely no warning. Nothing on that missile. I, we've overloaded the server, guys. You're just not going to get RWR warnings. I'm seeing people dying before the missile gets within kind of three miles. Just a word of warning. Anyone in the J-20, you cannot turn off the air, tra the air traffic AWACS. Feel bit like a verbal. Matrix, 147, 41 miles, Angels, 47. Yep. It's going to be a J-20. Last dregs of Taiwan. And that J-20 is turning cold to you. Because he fired at me. What's funny is uh, China is doing worse militarily, but financially much better. China have been inefficient today. Which how it works sometimes, like we did in that last US versus Russia. Russia had no right to do so well, but they did do well. That's the way it goes sometimes, guys. Well, just look at the losses. I mean, Taiwan forces, 31 F-16s down. 32. <laughs> I think I think China's problem is they weren't willing to waste a missile on an F-5. And then one F-5 survived almost to the end. I'm going to ask you to pause the server in a second, Simba. Just wait for these last kills to go down. Good night, sir. Man, I've beaten these PL... F-16s are really maneuverable today. Core game and 
R1. Waiting for Chevy 13 to die or run out of fuel. Come on, Chevy 13, die or run out of fuel. The rest of these are going back. Look, these ones are listening to my orders. I love it how some AI don't listen to my orders. They just go maverick. I reckon I put a bit of code in there. Some of them to go maverick. Chevy 13 is going back into combat. He is not giving up. Well, valued viewers, I'll give you Chevy 13. Human players, for what it's worth. And bear in mind, it's almost possible to score a kill in this. APOC, kill. Cannibal, kill. Bird, kill. Well done, you killers. Humans, it's almost poss possible for humans to operate fourth gen, which is why I usually don't put them in fourth gen. That's battle. That's it. A pause the mission, please, Simba. Let's have a look what happened. China won. I, mean, I think we all knew China was going to win. The superiority tech was amazing. But I'm amazed how well Taiwan did blob formation. 40 aircraft in a small bit of space. The confliction of the PL-15s weren't good enough to PK. The PL-15s just weren't good enough for all sorts of reasons. China lost three J-20s, four J-10s, and eight J-15s. 15 Chinese shot down and $1.3 billion of loss. Taiwan uh, did better than I thought. They lost 38 aircraft, so their whole team was essentially smashed and lost $3 billion. But they gave China a bloody nose, guys. So it's good to see that Taiwan can still stand up for themselves. Now, bearing in mind those scores, we're now going to go and redo it with America versus China standby. Welcome back. It's now America versus China. No Taiwan. Uh, Simba is just in that plane now because it's going to be a GCI. Teams are APOC, Lightning, Grump, ah, Superbug, uh, Matrix Lightning. That guy, that. That guy, that. That guy, that. Simba, go. In case you didn't listen to the briefing, I'm using F-35Cs uh, to act as F-35Bs because I'm an idiot, but I've only allowed them for missiles as per the F-35B. So it is all fair. Let's have a look at my human, uh, not Japanese, Chinese. Oh, three J-20s. Brave, guys. Brave. It's a handful. It's a real handful. J-20 mods still in development at the moment. Right here, my guys, they're going to do a nice flyby for you, valid views. Look at APOC going the wrong way. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you APOC. He just survives somehow. Yep. When you cross over the carrier, it's 097 for 159. We'll take you to Beirut. Beirut. Love Beirut. Beirut. Ah, uh, yes. The Chinese. I'm sorry. Uh, Beijing. Beijing. That's, that's, Beirut. That's Beijing. Beijing. But Beirut, China. Tomato, tomato. A potato, potato. Okay. In Lebanese, Beirut means the same as Beijing and China. What am I said? Did both of them have a port that exploded? Controversial, bro. Controversial. Controversial, man. Maybe Shanghai, because Beijing's a little more inland. I don't want to be that thing. Just because you're in China doesn't mean you have to fly upside down. You uh, watch him run out of fuel. And uh, looks like, yeah, it looks like the carrier's doing all right. Uh, inspection complete. Flying target. You guys have asked us to change to the new CGS uh, Super Hornet mod, and we will at some point, valued viewers. Everything takes time. It takes lots and lots of time, mm. yeah. I do, I do. I'm basically crap. Right, lots of uh, Americans up. I see the Chinese. Chinese, only birds up. Everyone out. Bird and George. Bird and George, um, say a thing. Upside down. Upside down. Thing. Let me just see if George really is upside down. He is upside down. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you freaking George. He looks at the world a different way up. In fact, if you what is that thing there? Let me know what that thing there is. I've never understood. The I always. Oh, I always think it's the cage where they put the cat in, so they can take the cat for a ride. Mm. And you can see yeah. Pickles! Pickles! Right, Ricky Bobby is in front as ever, because Ricky Bobby only has one speed, and that is 100%. A bit like Violet. Violet has 100% or 0%. Nothing in between. Only well, got one speed, Daddy, and that's full speed. Right, and that's how race drivers do. Racing drivers have one throttle position, on or off. Matrix F35, why have you gone for the F35 today, Matrix? Uh, I'm hoping to get behind their uh, radars and oh. cause some mischief. Well, he can do that. He can do that. Spoilers. Yeah. Uh, why? I don't know what to look at, really. Uh, not a lot, probably. Have another look at bird, I suppose. 54,000 feet. Uh, this plane's pretty overmodeled at the moment. Uh, the flight model uh, will change it at some point. Again, that thing I talked about, you know when I said time? That thing takes a lot of time. Do it at some point. I wish I mean probably never. Load of... Um, AI, J20 is up. What's going to be better today, J20 or F35? F35 will okay, well. And F35 has got a much more uh, sensible flight model. Um, it's restricted to Mach 1.6 as per real life. And it looks very nice as well. Well done, VSN. It's a nice little model. Ricky V. Bobby heading 093 for 140. George of the Jungle is doing a thing. I mean, he's the right way up now, so his pussycat can finally look down. 
What's your pussycat called, George? Elma. Elma? That's my sister's name. How about that? Matrix, closest thread is 097 for 138, Angel's 35. Got whilst before combat viewers, so we'll just... Oh, missile out. God, 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 God. We don't have a lot of time. Right, uh... It's finally that man there. 121 miles, RB. It was by AI. A genuine 125 miles. At that guy there. Wowza. The guy who gets hit is not going to be happy with this. Yep, three of them. Oof. China are really doing it this time. I wonder if it's because I changed to AWACS over. That they're now doing better. Last time we did A50 AWACS, which we think is buggy in-game. We've got no proof of it. We just think. KJ600. This one definitely works all the time. The reasons we don't fully aware. Birds shooting now. Ricky Bobby, you are about eight nautical miles ahead of anybody else. The problem is he's running into a bunch of stealth aircraft. We'll see. Matrix is doing a thing. Matrix is doing the opposite of what this guy is. I should say, this guy is doing what the opposite of this guy is. Words, stuff, and things. This guy's changed his vector, which is a sensible thing to do. Did you say they are mirroring each other? I would say they're mirroring each other. They're marrying each other. Marrying? I'd marry George and Matrix. Oh, we've got to be careful what I say here. Could piss the wife off and won't say anything further. Look at this missile fly. Look at it glide, viewers. 86,000 feet. I think that's the highest we've ever got one of our missiles. That is pretty much how far it actually flies in real life, viewers. 80-ish thousand feet. Up in that really nice thin air. Thin cold air. Good for a missile. All of these missiles are fired at this guy here. And by doing that thing he's done, all of them are going to fail now. Um, which is basically $10 million worth of Chinese missile. Don't worry, they are not firing. About 70 miles apart. They're not firing at the F-35s. They cannot see the F-35s. It was always possible. One of these could go active and accidentally hit an F-35, though. 17 PL-15s out. Not a single AIM-260. And I have no idea why no AIM-260s have been fired. And it worries me a lot. Everything's set up here properly. It's You know why? It's because it's only the Chinese stealths are out. The only non-Chinese stealth is this guy here. It's because there's no viable targets for uh, these guys. Isn't that interesting? I think they're the J-20s are... Blowing their load and going home. They are. That's exactly what they should do. That's what China are going to do in real life. That's the clever thing to do. Now, will the stealths catch them? I don't know. Something happened. An M260's out. Who fired it? That man there. That man there. Ford 32. Have my babies. He's firing all four and he's going home. What a freaking hero. He's, yes, he's fired all four. Turn around. Go home. That's American flying, viewers. That was efficient. What's he fired it at? These guys over here. 33's also firing. Infill 33. Okay, here they go. The, so, the lightning just firing. Oh. Out. Get two out on the front lines. 13 aim 260s out. Might want to watch that one. Where? Simba? Uh, J20 is about to drop. Looking. Oh, oh sugar. First yeah. J20 is down. I missed it because I'm an idiot. Yeah, hey, yeah, you're right. Because of, the, because of the closeness, look. 20 miles. They can see the J20s. These guys can't see the F35s yet. That's a J20 problem, I'm afraid. That's just better stealth. Terminal section of an AIM-260 is going in. That's F-35 versus J-20 value viewers. It's just better stealth. Two J-20s down. Good firing, guys. Oh, it's nearly a third of a billion dollars worth of gear. No American planes de dead yet. Here goes another. Three J-20s down. Zap! No American planes down yet. Orange Fox 3. J-20s are now in range of the F-35s. F-35s are now vulnerable. We have some fires. Zero nine three for ninety six nautical miles. Super fog down. What are you and Grump? Oh, good not, sir. Meta Hornet. He's kind of mid pack, north of the mid pack. Good dodge. Oh man, things and stuff. Smash! Oh, five J twenty down under J fifteen. What's the J fifteen flying over here? These smashing A two sixties are smashing him out of the sky. Look. Two F-18s are down. Yep. They always were going to die. No stealthy pops on those suckers. Man, the J-20s are getting smashed to pieces. Seven down. It's not as buggy this time round as um, the connections are doing better. You should get RWR warnings. The server's not <coughs> buggy as much. Fuck you. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. What? Talk us through it, Grump. He is not happy. He is not going to talk us through it. Talk us through it, bird. Cap, go to the south side of the map. Oh. Stealth versus stealth. Can they see each other? Someone can see someone. A thing is happening. Worst dogfight ever. You got visual? 60,000 foot dogfight. What the fuck? Negative. Sands right. are out. Cross circle. HQ9. No. HQ9s are out. That's a friggin' HQ9. Turn right. Tally. Yep. He's dropped 20,000 feet. Eyes on. 
No. This is going to be interesting at this range with yeah. heaters. Dog fighting at 50,000 feet is not an easy thing to do, viewers. In fact, he's just Remember, installed George, himself you've out. Got HMD. 75,000 feet. Slightly over mortal question mark? 80,000 feet? 90,000 feet? He's blacked huh. out. <laughs> I can't even tell. <laughs> I'm afraid views has gone to the, the space. He's broken the flight model. It'll just keep going up until the, I'm, just, I'm not even gonna watch it because it's gonna crash my game. That will that will crash your game, George. I would eject before it kills, kills your game. The flight model's broken down. Is setting it at this point. J10s are in. Feet. Not a single F35 dead. Oh, the difference. The difference, viewers. Look, these guys are getting killed 50 miles into China. All right, Matrix. Do you want big targets or little targets? I'll take the big one, please. 098 for 112. Correction, 095 for 111. Angels 23. Yep. Look at this. AIM 26s are 50 miles into China hunting for targets. They're probably out of battery, to be honest, but they are still going. That's going to be an, an AWACS, and you'll probably have to hold your lock on that. That may be out of range. Superbugs in the rear ranks are still getting smacked by long range PL 15s. The thing, no stealth on a super bug. Low visibility, but no stealth. As long as the AWACS can see him, these missiles can track. As you see here. Must be Maverick in that one because he's dodging. Oh, don't do that. Go straight down, go straight down. Well done. There you go, he's dodged it. So far, 15 Chinese down, 8 Americans down. Money. Double the cost to the China so far. Look, what can the F-35s uh, data link to each other on this one? No, they can't. You can only get data link from AWACS. In our mods, they're just not good enough. This guy died 30 miles into China. Oh, God. How are the tables turn, valued viewers? How are the freaking tables turn? Matrix, if you go on a heading of 100, you should stay out of the same threat. Box 3. Stealths are now being shot up by HQ-9s. Oh, I wish Matrix. I could turn them around. Heading 062 for 58 nautical miles. Angels 18. Hot. But don't drop your lock on the AWACS. Yeah, I managed to milch it, so it's dropped. Oh, their AWACS should still see it, wouldn't they? It's possible, but it's right there. They're right at the edges of each other. 062 for 44. Angels 20. Matrix. Roger. Now, the only thing is, Valley Fears, these guys have told them to go home. Huh, I don't know what he's doing. He's not fighting. He's run out of fuel hey, so much. Uh, heading 103 for 57. Matrix, your target is now at 1,000 feet. Oh, he's look. jamming. Things happening. Oh, just Chinaman almost got hit 60 miles behind his own coast. Box 3, I'm on jam. Yep, you're 28 miles. That's your track. 19 Bandits Chinese down. Hold. You are 2 miles from the outer sand threat ring. Roger. These have run out of battery. They got so far that they've gone 160, 170 miles, but they've just run out of battery. They don't find Neither missile track. Right, most of the Americans are doing what I said. Most are going home and doing what I asked. Uh, Chevy 3-1. Right? A, uh... Right? I don't know what he's doing, Simba. He's gone nuts. He's trying to go to China. I think he's trying to land in China. What the hell is the matter with these guys? Is that pilot's last name MacArthur? He's going to get hit. Oh, he went right past his face. A couple of them have just gone nuts. They're not even fighting. They're just flying Angels 2. I think they've just... They're, they're, I think the AI has oh, just gone wrong. Oh, oh, oh! Man, that's an AWACS down. Oh, where? How? And where? And how? Jeez, right out there! Who got that? There's a Matrix, Matrix. long bob. That was 70, 80 miles into China. Nice. And look at the money it cost them. Waz. Guys, we're going to have to pause the sim soon because some of the AI have gone stupid now. Uh, obviously, if they go stupid, they go stupid. There's not much I can do about it, really. I mean, you can see who's won this. I mean, look at the position. Look at the, look at the geography. 25 Chinese down. 10 uh, Americans down. Uh, let's have a quick APOC, look. 105 for 17 nautical miles. Angel, 7. Even some humans got some kills, which is almost impossible in these. Pontiac 33 is having a pop at this guy. Let's watch it through, viewers. This is just the stupidest dogfight ever. I oh, know he's turned around going home. He's going home. He's also massively out of fuel. Yeah, that was after him. No, yes. Ooh. You can go that way, mate. Oh. Oh, he's dead. Server's getting buggy again. Look at this guy. He's just hanging out over... He's... <laughs> if you get a chance, look at Ford 32. 
He's landing, at, he's landing in China. While chaffing. Cannonball's getting chased back into friggin' China. Not a lot I can do against a friggin' stealth F-35 chasing him down. APOC, two aggressors hot on you. May wanna turn south. Duck and dive on your way out. Dodge, duck and dive. Somebody, can you uh, vector me to bird? He wants Rowenge. He does want Rowenge. I am in the blob. Blob, he's in the blob. Oh, 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 APOC merge? Doesn't know about it. He doesn't know about it, he can't see him. Or can he? No, he doesn't. APOC 071. Four. Bird is rampant He's today. Exciting. You're about to merge at your nine o'clock now. That's a dog fight in China. Be advised. Oh, I blacked out. He's such a nerd bird. You were 2v1. Look, Angel's 10. Crossing your nose. Heading to your 11 o'clock hole. Neither of those aircraft have cannon. Uh, oh yeah, missiles only, guys. Missiles only. Oh, so I can't use this cannon that's on it? No, because no. we're pretending it's a free model. Did we not oh. have this conversation beforehand? Yes, yeah, so we did, no cannon. You're gonna have to fox for him. He's actually more expensive than you, so it will actually be a net gain to uh, America if you can fox for him. Just tie him up, I'm on my way. Unlucky. Oops. Copy, I'm hot. Huh. Look at that. Aerial 32 made it all the way down and it's taxing to China. Uh, is that in... Beijing? Ring. Beirut. Beijing, Beirut. <laughs> Beirut, China. <laughs> Match was over a long time ago, but we're just seeing the funny dregs now. Funny dregs are important, guys. Important for the soul. Oh, George may have met his match here. Has he? No, I don't know. Well done, George. That's dodging. George of the jungle. Blackout, George. George. Oh, why is everybody jungle? blacking out on that thing? Oh, for that tree. I need to remove the blackout on it, or reduce the. Uh, maybe we can just G them. Oh, something. oh, Cap. I think George is going to go into space again. He is. See the brake mod. Uh, we'll see the flight model break down. It's a terrible, terrible flight model, this viewers. As you probably noticed yourselves, he's back. He's back. Grump's coming in. I don't think he knows where he is or what he's doing, but Grump is definitely coming in. Grump, 142, heading 142 for 16. He wants Angel 16. Guy. George, 303 for 8. Can they find each other? It's a question. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> they can't. They can't. Look at that. Grump, nose George over merged. left. Nose over left. On the nose. 4,000. Go out below. God. Mac 2 friggin' dog. behind you. Grump's got no missiles, and if no got left. guns. Keep coming left. I don't know what that, that F-18's doing. Ooh, missile out. Uh, putting right in the middle of it. He just wants to join in. Oh, watch out, watch out. gee! Grump number one in China. So, pause the server. We ran it a lot longer than we should have done, but right. That was a very, it's very good kill. Good Grump. revenge. I, I, right as I was coming around on it's you. It's not I'll bird, but it'll have to do. Yeah, you're kind of bird. Amer uh, China lost 31 jets, uh, even with a bit of messing around at the back, uh, at the end. Uh, there was 31 jets and the others have RTB'd, apart from this guy who's gone nuts. Eight J20s, I think all of their J10s, and most of their J15s, and $2.6 billion worth of gear. America did better, as we kind of thought they would. And not a single F-35 got, sh got shot down. A couple of them got bugged, we saw. Disc missiles were going through area at 432, and I think I saw another one, but most of them were acting fine, and they just did, did much better. That stealth is just so, so useful. Only 13 uh, F-18s were shot down of 20. So you can see, if they didn't have the stealth planes, this would have, if it was all for super bugs, America would have lost, I probably imagine, because they had the F-35s, which are real game changers, and everything is modeled fairly and squarely here. They won, they won in money, and they won in planes threefold. So that answers your question, valued viewers. As best we can model them in DTS, how critical is American air power to a potential conflict in the Taiwan-China axis? I would say threefold, fourfold, fivefold, sixfold, depending how you quantify it from what we've seen. Guys, how did it feel in the air and any other uh, summary from that? Well, China did get an intelligence when we captured an F-35. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know that you can say you captured it. I think they just claimed that territory. 
It's more like donated. It's more like a single F-25 just took over a Chinese base. Awkward. He he's established got, a beachhead. <laughs> yeah, he's got he's got his 1911. He can he can take on the Chinese army. Yeah, unlike the American um, National Guard, the Chinese have bullets in their guns. Slightly awkward, guys. Do they though? Because they're made in China. Huh. On a brilliantly controversial point with the bullets in the guns, uh, valued viewers, I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you later for a bigger one at some point.